Hey, I work here in the AM Solar Office. You probably heard my voice on the phones every now and then. Give me a call, we'll talk sometime. Today we're gonna to talk about fitting four gauge cable into a 50 amp charge controller. Sometimes these terminals can be really difficult to fit a four gauge cable into. So you'll have to trim some of the copper inside of the sheathing in order to make it fit. So we have a few tools here today and you've probably seen this diagram on our website if you've looked at the 50 amp charge controller. But I'm gonna show you how to do option one today. Option two, you really don't need if you have these tools. So let's give it a try. If you have a 50 amp charge controller kit, you're going to get four gauge duplex cable or four two. And you'll need to be able to input it into the terminals of the charge controller. You can do this in a couple different ways, but today we're gonna to show you how to do it with a few tools. I have my cable cutters here have wire strippers. These you can find at any local hardware store. It will make this much simpler for you. I will show you how to do it both ways. The last thing you'll need, and this will be mostly for the last steps in the charge controller installation, a flathead screwdriver. This is what you'll use to tighten down the terminal screws. All right, so yours is going to look a little different than mine. For today, I'm going to just use a really short cable length. But what you'll want to do is at this point, you should have already split your four gauge duplex into two strips, your positive and negative. For this example, I'm just gonna cut a short strip. I'm gonna take my cable cutters and just find a length I wanna use. Now we need to expose the cable. I'm gonna use my cable cutters for this as well. I'm going to lightly press down and kind of do a scoring method or a pulsation and slowly turn. Yours will be different because you're gonna be using a full length of cable, so just be mindful of that. Until I get the sheet, I threw it, there it goes. Now you have your exposed cable. I may have cut just a little too much sheathing off here. You wanna do anywhere less than half an inch. This will not fit into the terminal as is, so we do need to trim it. Next up, I'm gonna use something a little sharper. So you could use the wire trimmer here and size it. You'll see that you have cable sizing on the trimmer itself. It makes your job much, much easier if you have one sized for, in this example, six gauge. But you probably don't have that, so I'm gonna just trim it. Very similar to how I removed the sheathing, I'm going to take the sharp part of the wire cutters and start to score lightly around the cable in a small twisting, motion. Keep an eye out for the strands that are dropping onto the surface below to get a good idea of how much you're stripping. You may start to see it split a little bit here. you see we have just a couple pieces falling off so far. I'm going to keep going. All right, so it really shouldn't take that many passes. You really shouldn't be trimming too much. You just want enough so that it can fit into the terminal, not too much to where you're compromising the connection of the cable. If you're worried about it, do it one step at a time, little by little. And I'm looking at mine now. I'm not sure if this will fit in my terminal. Might as well check it, see what's going on here. Yeah. It's a snug fit, so I might take just a few more strands off. All right, now I've cut it down to the desired size. I've pinched it, made sure we have a really good connection. I find my desired terminal. Slide it right in, no problem. Now I have my cable in. As I'm going through, once I've added all the cables to the terminals, there are screws inside here. You'll be able to use a flathead screwdriver and tighten down the terminal so you have a strong connection. And now we have it attached. One thing to note, you do not want to have as much exposed copper as I do here. Try and keep it at least half an inch or less, whatever fits in the terminal. You want it to be as close as possible. 